Hey guys, it's Tim here at Doc's Auto, and what did we bring home with us today? What do we have here besides so an excited dog? Well, if you haven't guessed, it's a BMW, of course. You know how I like my Beamers. Hasn't even come off the trailer yet. Look at that clean, clean exterior, except for right up here. Looks like she got a couple of teeth knocked out. So, not a huge project. You know, it won't be small, but there's some stuff in there missing. We got the headlights. Uh, headlights are in the trunk. A lot of the parts are in the trunk, are in the back. You know, there's some stuff to do here, uh, mostly cosmetics. Looks like this one quarter front came out just a little bit. You can see the line for the hood is off and a little bit of a tweak right in there. So we'll go ahead and get that straightened back up and put back in the right place. We've got some spare parts in the back of the vehicle. Um, 2012 BMW X3. Uh, 28i did not need the uh, did not need the, the turbo for uh, for the daily driver for daycare. Uh, another great vehicle from Copart, lot 80, and uh, after a little frustration with bidding, I did win the vehicle. Took the second try, ended up paying a little more than I wanted to, but still well below value uh, on the street for this vehicle. Yeah, just under 71,000 miles on it. Uh, Carfax is good in terms of maintenance records. It was in actually two minor front end collisions uh, in the, about six months time earlier this year. Um, you can see under here, crash bar has got a little bit of a ding to it. Yet the bumper looks almost brand new. <clears throat> no damage to this, so you would have figured maybe that's from the first accident. And that was never really repaired by the uh, by the first shop. But anyways, we'll go ahead and take this thing apart and see what all is needed and put it back together. This will be a you know, multi-part uh, series, and we will uh, we will see what uh, what we get to. Now, first of all, the problem is going to be uh, getting the vehicle off the trailer because the doors are below the uh, fender wells of the trailer. So. With any luck, I can crawl in the back, sneak into the front, and start it up and get it off the trailer. So we will uh, we will see what happens and keep you posted. Um, it does have this car does have a lot of the nice accoutrements. It has the of course a panoramic sunroof, the nav system with the nine inch screen, which is what we're looking for. I was looking for specifically uh, the heated seats, rear ventilation for uh, the kids, as well as the uh, rear window screens uh, that, uh, that you can put up without having to have some clip on, uh, clip on uh, screens or anything like that. And uh, if you look under the vehicle, it is, it is clean under here. It is dry. There are no drips or anything like that. It is a clean, clean vehicle. So we'll go ahead and get it off the trailer and see what we can do. Well, there she is, everybody. Off the trailer, started right up. Had to crawl through the, crawl through the back. I got the headlights. One of the headlights is good. The tabs are all in place. Um, that looks good. Make sure it works. Uh, one of the fog light and wiper assemblies uh, looks like a little damage. We will see uh, see if any of that can be salvaged, uh, or if we have to replace these. You can get these uh, 
mounting brackets for about 50 bucks for the pair of them uh, non oe brand otherwise bmw ones are about 60 bucks a piece the downside is this one here is damaged um, tabs are broken off so unless there's a means to replace just the lens and i have seen some but i don't know if that'll work in this case um, we may just find a second hand uh, driver light driver side headlight assembly and uh and call it good those can be had for under 200 bucks looking around otherwise the rest of the car looks pretty phenomenal um no dings no dents the tires are pretty good on it um probably have about 10,000 miles left run flats uh so that's uh that's pretty cool and we'll go ahead and get the uh, get the trailer tucked away and uh get her up into the garage and see what uh see what we get well hey everybody we have gotten the uh gotten the new x3 in the garage here and started to take a peek at it and uh, we actually went through and hooked up uh set in place both the headlights um the headlights themselves both work and did confirm that the driver's side one uh, is damaged and does have to be replaced tabs are all broken off as you can see here so uh, that's no good uh, but the passenger side one is uh, intact there's no damage at all so that's excellent um, also down here the uh, molding here for the wiper assembly wiper washer uh, and fog lamp is good on the passenger side the driver side have the assembly here and it does look like it will be uh, usable however there are a couple of clips on the bumper side bumper cover that broke off so we may ultimately have to uh, replace this bumper cover um, that was a plan anyways due to this was somehow um, cut uh, I don't know why but um, so these tabs are broken off right here so we'll likely have to replace this anyways. Um, but also the crash bar, you can see uh, there is a dimple in it right up here in the middle. Um, and bent over right down here, you can see too, and I don't know how this type of damage would come from this accident with no damage up here, no damage to the front of the bumper here. Um, so I'm thinking that's from the prior accident where it just was not replaced. So we're gonna do things right. We ordered a new one. Uh, I've ordered a new uh, replacement here as well. I uh, discovered last night the tunnel for the uh, brake uh, is missing. There should be a tunnel that goes across here. You can see down on the passenger side, uh, there is one right down here. Tough to see in the dark here, uh, but that does vent air uh, from front of the vehicle to the brakes so we ordered that we ordered a new set of the windshield or the headlight wiper or headlight washer covers um, and we are getting uh, factory bmw parts whenever possible uh, there are some that are just exorbitantly expensive or not available um, other than in a primed uh, prime status so we're trying to avoid having to uh, do paint on parts here and uh, and blend that in um, the other big item I found is that this front quarter uh, is bent out just a hair. So when you close the hood, there's about half inch gap, uh, which is not present on the passenger side. So we'll look at uh, kind of massaging that back in as well. And there are a couple of points here from the insurance company looks like. Um, adjust this here looks to be bent a little bit. So we'll look either uh, repair or replace. And then this front here, core support, um, not actually damaged, just in the impact, it pushed it back a little bit, and you can see just about a quarter or three, it's an inch, uh, was pushed back. So we'll go ahead and move all that back forward. You can see just a hair on this side, so we'll move those back forward. Um, and today will be demo day. Maybe my favorite day, um, aside final test drive day. So we're gonna go ahead and work on pulling off the front bumper cover, um, pulling out all the sensors, make sure everything there is good. Uh, there were a few of those that were unplugged, so I plugged those back in. And 
with everything plugged back in, I had no more warning lights on the dashboard for sensors, for headlights, for fog lamps, uh, all the active controls work for the headlights and everything. So we'll just go ahead today and start taking this apart and see what other fun stuff we find lurking behind the uh, bumper cover here that is needing to be replaced. And again, give the car a good old cleaning. A little dirty under the hood, but it's dry. There's no leaks, uh, no drips, anything like that. Um, kind of my suspicion uh, with the old battery minder here is this may have been a Snowbird's car. Um, and they drove and parked it for a winter or something like that. The GPS data in the car had one of its last locations being in Ontario. And the other last location being somewhere uh, about an hour away from, from where I live here. Um, uh, all-wheel drive works, ABS works, steering is solid and tight, engine runs smooth. So uh, I've got an uh, oil and filter change coming to do that too. Uh, so I hesitate to do a lot of driving around with the vehicle. A, it has no headlights, uh, and B, I just, just would like to change the fluids for that peace of mind that, um, you know, nobody did anything with it, tampered with it in the auction lot. You'd hate to think people would do that, but you know, things happen. People take keys and try and tamper with things to make the vehicle uh, unappealing for any other bidders. I guess that's just how it goes. So we'll go ahead and start taking this apart and uh, see what we find behind the bumper. <laughs> 